We can all imagine and name a few hybrid animals that have been created by scientists. These days, the internet is full of photoshopped images of strange mixtures of animal creatures. Though the rare kind of crossing does not usually appear in nature, but with the intervention of humans, these recently created creatures can boost up your knowledge. We have this list full of absolutely terrifying animals, which will give you goosebumps for sure. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. Boar Pig Also called an Iron Age pig, these pigs are a distinctive-looking crossbreed first developed for a BBC documentary by none other than country file presenter Adam Henson's father, Joe. The main benefit of the breed is that you can produce the distinctive gamey pork without the need for a dangerous animal license. They're slower growing than many more modern breeds and tend to be lean and leggy so they can take as long as 18 months to reach slaughter weight, with 8 to 9 months being a minimum. This is worth bearing in mind as boars are sexually active quite early when other breeds would be due for processing. Females are generally docile. Narluga As you can tell by the name, it is the offspring of a female narwhal and a male beluga two species that have never been known to mate before. Scientists know very little about the sex lives of beluga and narwhals. Both creatures spend a good portion of their year hidden in densely packed sea ice, which makes it tough for people to observe the animals and learn their secrets. This unicorn of the sea will soon take over the world's oceans. Asherah the world's newest, rarest, and most exotic domestic cat. The breed was developed by crossbreeding with two exotic wild species, the African serval and the Asian leopard cat, and then adding a dash of domestic cat into the mix. The result is certainly a beautiful cat with leopard-like spots and contrasting stripes and elegant, well-formed features with large pointed ears and can stand four feet tall in its hind legs. They like to climb and are very playful. Weighing a mere 30 pounds, it will deter mice, small dogs, or annoying ex-partners from hanging around your home. If you have any other cats on the premises, they probably won't be too thrilled either. Blood Parrot Cichlid this cichlid hybrid was created in Taiwan around 1986 and are produced by crossbreeding a Midas cichlid with a redhead cichlid or a red devil cichlid. There is some controversy in the ethics when it comes to creating blood parrot cichlids as they have several anatomical deformities, such as their mouth, which is only a small vertical opening and causes some to have difficulty feeding. They are usually bright orange, but their color can vary to include red and yellow. Glow Cats Cats that have been genetically modified to glow in the dark are being used to gain insights into AIDS. The scientists inserted one gene into the cats that helps them resist the feline form of AIDS. They also inserted a gene that produces a fluorescent protein called GFP. This protein, which is produced naturally in jellyfish, is commonly used in this area of research to monitor the activity of altered genes. Human Z Two Chinese scientists from Shenyang have claimed that they have participated in an experiment which they successfully impregnated a female chimpanzee with human sperm. Their goal was to create a new, more highly evolved chimpanzee with a larger brain and a wider mouth. Ultimately, they hoped that their new creature would be able to speak. The chimpanzee wasn't exactly going to be treated well. Their plan was to use it as a slave by making it drive carts and herd sheep. They also wanted to send it off on experiments in space. Zealous revolutionaries smashed their lab and destroyed their work, and the chimpanzee died before she could come to term. The researchers claimed that she was already three months pregnant. Singing Mice High in the mountains of Central America lives a little-known creature called Alston's Singing Mouse. Singing mice sometimes belt out a song when they're alone, but they're especially vocal when other mice are around. Males sing as a way to fight over territory with other males, and both males and females sing to one another during courtship. The researchers also injected nerve-blocking drugs into this brain patch and then played a recording of another male. Drugged males often failed to sing back, and when they did, they were slow to begin, taking seconds to start their own song. 
bovid hybrid. The American bison and European bison have been hybridized with domestic cattle. This was originally done in an attempt to reinvigorate the declining bison population. First-generation hybrid males are sterile, but females may be crossed back to either a wisent or domestic bull to produce fertile males. Modern wisent herds keep hybrids well isolated from pure wisent. Since the modern purebred wisent are descendant from less than two dozen individuals, this has resulted in a significant genetic bottleneck for the purebred wisent. Bengal Cat one of the cat lovers who helped the Bengal get its start was geneticist Willard Centerwall, who began crossing domestic and leopard cats. Today, you could find Bengals in a number of different colors and patterns. They can be pointed and vaguely arrow-shaped, or circular with a donut-like flare. Underneath their showy coats, Bengals tend to have muscular physiques. According to the Cat Fanciers Association, the hind legs are a bit taller than the shoulders. Adult Bengals weigh about 8 to 15 pounds. Akita They aren't the biggest dogs in the world. Most weigh about 90 to 100 pounds. However, the combination of their large head and shoulders and forward posture can make them look quite menacing. Akitas are instinctually driven to guard and protect their families. In fact, this is one of the primary purposes for which the breed was developed, protecting nobles and other VIPs during the feudal period of Japan. They were also used to hunt large game such as boar. Despite their fearless and sometimes confrontational demeanor, they are often loving family pets. However, they are not one of the easiest breeds to train, so they are not a good choice for an inexperienced owner. They need consistent, firm, respectful training and regular socialization from an early age. Human Pig Scientists have created a human-pig hybrid in a milestone study that raises the prospect of being able to grow human organs inside animals for use in transplants. In future, the approach could pave the way for incubating human organs genetically matched to a patient for use in transplants or for testing new medicines more safely and effectively. Scientists are hoping to boost the human contribution by switching off specific genes in the pig embryos that would prevent the pig cells from contributing to target organs, such as the heart, potentially giving the human cells a competitive advantage. This is the first combination of human cells with those of a large mammal. Great Pyrenees This unusual, somewhat paradoxical breed of dog grows very large and quite protective of their home and pack, but they look like a big teddy bear. They're coated in long, fluffy hair and they have roundish faces with cute ears. They can be quite intimidating, especially to those who are not comfortable with dogs. Great Pyrenees were originally developed to guard sheep and other livestock. That's part of the reason for their fluffy appearance. One of the gentlest breeds, but they aren't a good choice for all owners. For example, they do not adapt well to apartment life and they are Olympic caliber shedders. They can also be somewhat difficult to train and are a bit stubborn. Python Hybrid News of a hybrid super predator slithering its way through the waterways of the 1.5 meter acre wilderness is a genetically blended python that researchers believe might be able to better embrace the subtropical environment and expand its range more rapidly than any species before it. Bringing two strong different traits together and sometimes the best of those traits will be selected in the offspring. That allows for the best of both worlds in the Everglades. It helps them to adapt to this new ecosystem potentially more rapidly. Gerberian Shepsky They are pretty gigantic when compared to the Siberian Husky and can grow to weigh up to 90 pounds. But they're actually relatively small in comparison to their other parent breed, the German Shepherd. Usually, a Shepsky's personality will either favor their husky parent or their German Shepherd parent, and this can show up as unwavering devotion and affection for husky dominance, and intelligence and loyalty for German Shepherd dominance. Black Tip Sharks Scientists have identified the first ever hybrid shark off the coast of Australia. Australian black tip shark can be found from Thevenard Island in Western Australia to Sydney in New South Wales. 
one of the most economically important sharks off northern Australia, it was historically fished for its meat and fins by Taiwanese gillnet fishery, which began operating off northern Australia in 1974. The annual catch initially averaged around 25,000 tons, with approximately 70% consisting of Australian blacktip sharks, spot tail sharks, and long-tail tuna. The fishery became uneconomical when Australia restricted gillnet lengths to 2.5 kilometers in May 1986. At the end of the fishery, Australian black tip shark numbers were estimated to have been diminished by around 50 percent. Cuban Crocodile Mating Cuban crocodiles and American crocodiles are creating hybrid offspring that threaten the survival of the Cuban species, which has dwindled to about 4,000 wild animals in two isolated Cuban swamps. The animals have increasingly moved into the Cuban crocodile's remaining freshwater habitat as it becomes more brackish or salty due to agricultural activities. American crocodiles living in Cuba are more closely related to Cuban crocodiles than to other American crocodile populations in Central America. The scientists haven't done behavioral studies to find out if the hybrids are stronger or more aggressive, which can sometimes happen when species interbreed. Great Dane Absolutely huge dogs who are able to intimidate many people by virtue of their imposing appearance alone, they may look frightening, but they are typically gentle, affectionate, and loving with their families. Despite their warm and fuzzy personalities, they require proper training and socialization from an early age. Failing to do so can actually be dangerous, given the size of these immense beasts. Because of this, they are rarely appropriate for first-time owners or those who lack the desire to engage in a proper training regimen. Panthera Hybrid a crossbreed between any four species, tiger, lion, jaguar, and leopard in captivity, most hybrids would not be perpetuated in the wild as males are usually infertile. They have huge teeth, about two inches long. Their genes include the genetic components of tigers and lions. Therefore, they may be very similar to tigers and lions and can be difficult to identify. Their coloring ranges from gold to brown to white, and they may or may not have spots or stripes. Koi Wolf The Koi Wolf is a coyote wolf hybrid found throughout eastern North America, from Canada to South Virginia. Researchers believe koi wolves first got their start at the southern end of Ontario in Canada's Algonquin Provincial Park in the early 20th century, when colonizing coyotes from the west bred with remnant populations of eastern wolves or a subspecies of grey wolves. They also have larger, stronger jaws and bigger skulls, which allow them to better hunt the plentiful white-tailed deer and adapt to all habitats. Monkey-Pig Hybrids Chinese scientists have successfully bred monkey-pig hybrids as part of research into the growth of human organs for transplantation in animals. A team from the State Key Laboratory of Stem Cell and Reproductive Biology in Beijing genetically modified monkey cells to produce a fluorescent protein, allowing the researchers to track the cells and descendant cells. These modified cells were injected into the pig embryos five days after fertilization for research purpose. Which one do you find the most terrifying? Don't forget to let us know in the comments section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.